full swing. Infosys declared its fourth quarter numbers yesterday. Profits beating estimate expectations. And it's now the turn of Tata Consultancy Services. Profits are expected to take a slight hit of about a percent. I've got Shell Damania and Priya said joining me with the expectations. Uh, also joining us, Bhavin Shah of Equity Securities. Uh, Shell, let me start with you first. What can we expect this time? Asha, this time around, uh, the street is anticipating just a 2% growth in dollar revenues. Uh, generally, we have seen that Q4, even last year and the year before that, wasn't very strong. And this time around, uh, similar is being expected. Also, uh, recently, the management has come out and said that Q4 will not be as strong as Q3. And hence, just a 2% kind of dollar revenue growth is what is being expected. As far as margins are concerned, they're expected to count down by almost 60 basis points. And also, when you look at the company's uh, profit numbers, they're seen down by 1.1%. So, no major surprises being expected this time around. Right. Uh, Priya, rupee, rupee appreciation, I'm told, will pay a, play a part. What, what is the street really watching out for? Well, after results from Infosys, what the street is watching for as far as Tata Consultancy Services is concerned is the fact that EBIT margins and how the rupee will play a role as far as EBIT margins are concerned. In fact, uh, the street is keenly watching the kind of reinvestment strategy that TCS will take this time around. Also, the other thing that the market is watching for is revenues from the India business. The India business has been uh, not doing very well over the last few quarters, uh, particularly because of the elections that are coming around the Low down in decision making. So we need to wait and watch what kind of uh, revenues could pan out from the India business. The other thing that the market is watching for is the demand outlook. The business form rebid contracts 2014 is a big year where a lot of contracts are coming up for renegotiations. Also commentary on discretionary spending after Infosys has mentioned that discretionary spends have been weak and decisions are taking longer as far as clients go. And also the important thing that the markets are watching out is for the major hiring number that TCS will uh, come out with and also uh, commentary on the kind of wage hikes. But as far as concerns, uh, the concerns on the rupee appreciation uh, continue. Also, there has been concerns on low margins because there have been aggressive pricing as far as deals go. And of course, uh, there has been concern about reduction as far as tech budgets go uh, in 2014. So clearly, a lot of action. We need to wait and watch uh, what kind of results TCS actually comes out with. Thanks, Priya, for that. Uh, Bhavin now joins us on this conversation. Bhavin, good to have you as always. Uh, what are you working with as far as TCS is concerned? And uh, do you anticipate or you expect them to continue the straight, steady growth path that they have had pretty much whole of last year? Yeah, we do expect them to continue. In fact, uh, if you take out the India business, which was really, uh, which has been a drag for last two quarters, uh, the international business has continued to do extremely well, even slightly better than last year. And so we are building in a 2.5% uh, dollar revenue growth this quarter, which is at the higher end of the that consensus. Uh, you know, so we'll see you know, the, where they come. Uh, and we also expect uh, uh, pretty uh, modest uh, margin erosion compared to the uh, street, which might be building higher uh, margin erosion. Let me push that a little further, Bhavin. You know, so on, on, on the profitability front, so are you saying, uh, if you look at it from a fiscal 15 standpoint, do you expect... Uh, EBIT margins to move up to a highly higher bracket? No, I think TCS already is operating at a higher end of the margins that they would want to operate at. Right. Uh, you you also have some uh, rupee headwind on a year-on-year basis. Even you know if you assume that rupee stays at current levels for the next 12 months. So uh, I think there are some uh, you know mar wage pr margin pressures also out there. And uh, so, as such, we think that margins may uh, remain fairly stable rather than move up any further. A broader question on the industry per se, Bhavan. You know, uh, most people that we've been speaking to for the last almost a year, year and a half now, have argued that there is no scope for a pricing improvement. Uh, do you expect that to change in fiscal 15? Uh, no, I think it, that won't change. I think there is enough uh, competition to get business. I think the demand is there, demand is growing. But there are enough people, uh, you know, uh, trying to get that business that's available mm. that I think will keep, uh, you know, pricing under check. What are the red flags and what would you like to hear from the management of TCS today? Well, we want them to, you know, to be able to reiterate uh, very strong positive messages that they've been giving, mm. uh, you know, talking about growing uh, above the NASCOM guidance even the higher end of the NASCOM guidance, and we want that clarity again uh, from TCS. We want them to uh, basically uh, show that they continue to have a momentum in terms of uh, building large accounts. Mm. 
and uh, you know we want uh, them to also uh, you know talk about how uh, you know if uh, and when that india business can turn around what would you make of infosys numbers yesterday uh, uh, bhavin and between infosys and tcs where would you put your money yeah uh, you know infosys has done a very good job of uh, cost optimization which yeah. was obviously the first uh, leg of uh, their uh, strategy to uh, sort of uh, restructure or reorganize and uh, you know get the company back on track and so that has worked well that has also led to margin surprise and uh, as a result eps surprise so there is a big non operating income component to that uh, however uh, where we have significant concerns is about the revenue outlook and while the company has talked about the other two aspects of their strategy the sales force effectiveness and delivery effectiveness to take some time we believe that the approach that infosys is taking in completely rebuilding the sales organization and uh, essentially uh, you know facing a lot of attrition as uh, you know it's going to make it hard for the company to uh, get anywhere close to the industry growth rate so i you know we we feel it's a, it's a company that is going to do well on profitability but not on growth right so uh, if you can just if you can just tell me uh, from a stock standpoint bavin uh, among the top 3 yeah, so or 4 yeah, so we, yeah. We, con we continue to uh, see upside in tcs mm. uh you know we uh we, because there is growth uh, there is a uh, you know comfort with the tcs delivering uh, uh high teens kind of growth mm. in dollar revenues in fy15 mm. uh but infosys we see pretty much flat to slightly down movement right uh i have one broader question and you know this is something that i picked up from talking to a couple of these analysts in, in new york uh one view is that most indian companies are not particularly leading the leading from the front on new technologies such as social mobility analytics big data uh would 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 you buy their argument number one and 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 the view i heard is that the ibms and the accenture of the world are are better leveraged to take take you know make the most of this opportunity what would you have to say to that yes i think you know ibm accenture they have always had very strong capabilities in the new technologies mm. and i think that is continuing uh, today as well and uh, those companies have also built very big offshore presence um and i think uh, so they going back to your earlier question about price pricing that's one of the reasons why pricing cannot move up because you have multiple players trying com trying to compete for the same business and yes there are some disruptive forces at, at play you know where a uh, lot of uh, work is getting automated and uh, if uh, there is there always that risk that uh, if indian companies are not able to um uh, really uh, you know shift uh, to the newer paradigms uh, they could actually face uh, bigger challenges you know if you look at uh, data last few quarters the traditional application development maintenance business has not been doing well for the indian it companies you know you can see that in infosys numbers you can see that in hcl tax numbers Uh, you can see that in wipro's numbers so there there is there is that challenge already visible in the numbers